Hi, Michael Lorenz here, and today I'll be doing my sixth commentary, and is not on someone's rant this time, it'll be on the commentary, and my commentary will be on Peter the PlayStation Xbox and Nintendo fans commentary on Jay Kaiser's rant on the Loud House. This commentary doesn't seem that bad but Jay's rant still suck, anyways, grab yourself something to eat and drink, get on the couch, or, bed, and let's start the commentary. Greetings, this is Peter on YT PlayStation and Xbox fan, and today's commentary will be on Jay Kaiser's rant on the Loud House. This rant is going to suck, because it has a lot of invalid reasons to hate the Loud House. Anyways, grab your popcorn, soda candy bars, turn on your speakers, take a seat, sit back and relax, and enjoy. Hey guys, Jay here, and I have another rent to share. This one is on the Loud House. Woo, nobody gives a shit! But if you hate this show, I can handle your opinion as long as you can handle mine. You're such a hypocrite! Hypocrite much, because you said that you handle opinions, yet you bash opinions, you idiot. Look dude, I don't wanna fight or blame you, but even you make hypocritical reasons to hate baby shows in your rants. Even though I like watching your rants and commentaries, especially the non-interactive ones, I'm not trying to take you in Fan22's side, even though I don't like her. I'm just saying. But if you bash my opinion on that show, I will block you from my channel. Sorry about that. Anyways, enjoy. The Loud House. No. More like the Dumb House. Really? Was that the best insult you got there? Oh my god. This show sucks. Correction. This show rocks, because it's one of my favorite shows on Nickelodeon, next to SpongeBob SquarePants. I will tell you reasons why I hate this show. 1. The animation is terrible. Correction. The animation is great. The animation is great, only because the comic design of the show almost had the same comic design as Garfield. 2. The characters designs are too disgusting. How are the character designs are disgusting? Can you explain why? 3. The theme song is not that great. For me, the theme song is catchy. 4. The episodes are bad. Not all the episodes are bad, the episodes that I don't like are. Okay, I'm just gonna skip to the part where he mentioned all the names of the bad episodes of the series. Got a problem with that? 5. Some of the episodes have Lincoln getting abused by his ten sisters, proving that this show is too violent. Carter, so Bruh, you should have said this also. And some episodes where the loud kids can sometimes get punished by both of their worst parents, even though I hate Ritu and Lynn Sr., and also because I don't like showing support for people I hate, including child abusers, bullies, criminals, and even autism haters and harassers. 6. When I watched the episode Left in the Dark, I felt so traumatized, as if it looks like the characters will eat me up. Shut the fuck up, no one cares. Know your fucking place, trash. 7. This show is so popular. Yes it is popular. Got a problem with that, huh? Not to mention that this show also has its movie called The Loud House Movie, which came out on Netflix on August 20th, 2021. However, the show and its popularity keeps going downhill. Why the hell is it so popular? 8. Dom's Classical Corner hates that show. Oh my god, who the hell cares? Even though I hate Dom's classical corner. 9. This show has too many loud noises in it. It is has loud noises. Got a problem with that, huh? Ten. The worst character from this show is Lori Loud, because she is a huge disgrace to Candice Flynn from Phineas and Ferb. My all-time favorite character next to Tom Cat from Tom and Jerry, Homer Simpson, and Blue the Puppy from Blue's Clues. Tartar sauce. Even Lola Loud, Rita and Lynn Sr., they are worse too, but I agreed with you on Laurie Loud, because she's a bigger bully than Candice Flynn from Phineas and Ferb, Trina Riffin from Grudge Band, 
Susie Kidd from Elliot Kidd, and Elena Lawrence Kirsten from Angela Rules. Why Lori Loud is the worst character from The Loud House, all because she's an expert of stupid relationships. Got a problem with that, huh? Keep in mind that I used to hate Lori Loud, but not anymore. I hated her since 2019, and I started to like her in February 8, 2021. I still hate Candace Flynn, and I like Tom Cat and Homer Simpson, and I'm neutral to Blue from Blue's Clues. Only the classic TV series. 11. The least cringe-worthy character is Lenny, because when this show came out back on the 2nd of May, 2016, I was her age. That's a stupid reason to hate Lenny. 12. This show was created by Chris Savino, who is a criminal. Yeah I know. He did a lot of abusive episodes from this show, even from the Powerpuff Girls, Dexter's Laboratory, Kick Butowski, Suburban Daredevil, and Mickey Mouse TV series from 2013. Although it's not only those awesome cartoons whom Savino made horrific episodes of, he did the same with Johnny Test, and he once worked on Cartoon Network's My Gym Partner's a Monkey. And the good thing is, the show still goes on without him. And yes. He did got fired in 2017 for sexual harassment. And you know who's a criminal the most? You, Jay Kaiser. 13. Peter on YT keeps praising that show like it's God. Even though I still like Peter on YT. A hypocrite, Dad. A liar and a hypocrite. What the fuck, Jay Kaiser? You stalked me this time. Are you out of your mind? You know that I still hate you for all the shit you've done. And how many times do I have to tell you, Jay? It's my fucking opinion. 14. There was a spin-off called The Casa Grunts, which that spin-off sucks. Uh, <laughs> can you like, shut up? Well it has a spin-off called The Casa Grandes. Got a problem with that, huh? Keep in mind that I now like The Casa Grandes since October 9th, 2020. And 15. This show has terrible music in it. Tartar song. And how's the music is terrible exactly? So that's all the reasons why this show sucks. Do you know who likes this show? No, 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 no. Shut the fuck up, no one cares. Know your fucking place, trash. I will. Oh my god. This is the part where it takes long to mention all the users who like or hate the Loud House. You know what? I'm just gonna fast forward this video. Well at least the commentary is over, except the fact that Peter the PlayStation, Xbox and Nintendo fan forgot to add Johnny Test and my gym partners a monkey in his commentary, but anyways, thanks for watching. This, is Michael Lorenz, over and out. Peace.